Tanya with Junk Monkey Paint Company and Matt's running around here too if you see him in the background. We're getting ready. Happy vlog day. We're vlogging. We're vlogging and right now we are getting ready to go live over on DIY with Home Talk. So this is the piece I have today. So in this vlog you will see this girl flipped. I gotta tell you like Okay, right there, right? You see her. She's a sewing machine. I'll take you up close to see her in just a second. Tell me if I'm wrong, but my spotty senses are telling me that when I go live on this platform of millions of people around the world who might not even know me, this could be the very first time they're even seeing me, and they see me whip out, number one, a sewing machine, and number two, paint it green. Oh, I'm just, I'm preparing myself for some lovely comments today. You know what I'm saying? But I have learned to laugh it off. Because <laughs> I know, I am the one who knows that this piece is going to be gorgeous when she's done. I'm actually going to use it for a end stand, right? Like a side table. So I got her at a Goodwill for $5.99. Honestly, if the sewing machine was in it, I would not have taken her. Because... I don't want to learn to sew. I don't want an old sewing machine. I'm not, a, I'm not an antique sewing machine collector or anything of that sort. So the fact that somebody took the guts out of this, this is the only way I will buy a sewing machine. I brought this one home. Yes, she's in rough shape, but we're gonna make her beautiful. I love how this little door right here just kind of like clips right there. There's little goodies right here. I'll show you guys in a second. This was actually filled with old sewing machine stuff. And I tell you what, I will show you real quick what I found inside this. It was the cutest stuff ever. So I love that, love the little uh, decoration we got going down here. Yes, we've got the veneer missing, who cares, okay? So when I look at a piece like this, I go, you know what, she's got good bones, she's beautiful. Look at that beautiful carved designs in the legs. We're gonna put her in a fun color, and at the end of the day, yes, she's rough, because you know what? She's been around the block, right? And rightly so, things age with time. But we're still gonna love on her, and what we're gonna do is um, basically just stress her and show off her characteristics. So I'm gonna go clean her now. Do you see there's just a bunch of dirt and stuff on the sides. Who knows where this girl has been sitting and waiting. We rescued her and we are gonna clean her and re-love her. Hey Matt, mm -hmm. um, what do you think? Do you think that um, I'm gonna get a bunch of lovely comments today because they can't wait to see me paint a sewing machine? Somebody put this woman down. Yes. Those are the comments I get. And I laugh. I, need to I get laugh. My go -go juice before I start. All the way to the living room, I laugh because when this piece is in place, she's beautiful. And by the way, here's the color. You're going to go get your uh, caffeine, get caffeinated before we do this live, Matt. Is that what you're yes, telling me? You like some caffeine. Um, no, I'm good. Thank you. Look, this is the color I'm going to put it in. <laughs> Surely I won't get any comments, right? I mean, I can't see how somebody would love some brownie frowny in this gorgeous, gorgeous green color. This color is called Lucky Clover. Let's see how lucky I'm feeling today. I'm gonna get like bananas thrown at me and it ain't gonna be good. It ain't gonna be pretty. Okay, we cleaned her up and as you can see, I did get a bunch of dirt off of her. This is one of the many towels. And she's gonna be super nice because this is a color Lucky Clover that we're gonna put on her. Oh my gosh, isn't that just beautiful? That beautiful green. This color, when you seal it, just even pops more so. I cannot wait to get it done. Whew. All right, well, the live over on DIY with Home Talk is finished. Can you tell? Hello, you can see that gorgeous green girl in the background. I worked up a sweat. It is raining outside right now. It's so humid. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It is hot, hot, hot. So worked through it. Got this slip done um, in under an hour. I love her. Are you ready to see her up close? She looks different. Yay! There she is in Lucky Clover. All I did, guys, was grab a brush and go bananas. And of course, I used my shabby chip brush to get a distressed effect that I love. By the way, remember this piece here on one of my vlogs, if you've been following me in my haul, I picked this out. I put some metallic paint on it. I absolutely love it. Mr. Piggy, hello. He likes to make a cameo. And there you go. So I'm finished with this piece. I'm going to take a break. And eventually I'm going to haul it upstairs and put it into my rec room um, between my couch and a chair. And I think it's perfect. I know it was once a sewing machine. Now she's going to be a gorgeous, shabby, fabulous. 
and Stan. Love it. Wouldn't this be so beautiful as well? Can you imagine this in a bedroom like next to a bed with all those beautiful legs? Bedroom next to a bed and then you have like beautiful, beautiful like white, white bedding, fluffy ruffled bedding. I don't know. I'm just kind of picturing it. I think that would be gorgeous. Green is just such a clean, um, clean color, right? Just absolutely beautiful. Pair it with some white and you've got a pop of color, but just the potential to be so sweet. This is actually some of the stuff that we got inside the drawer. That drawer, that secret drawer, one of you guys wrote in and told me that you have a sewing machine just like that, except you put, instead of stuff like this, you put your own snacks in there. It's a hiding compartment, which I love it. So when we actually lifted it out of the van, the drawer, the basically the front piece swung open and all this fell out on the pavement below. What do you think that is? Um, I forget what these are. This is sterling silver, but it's some kind of like liquid. I forget. I Would you use know. it to like to oil the machine up with or something? Um, I'm guessing there's like a needle. What is or that? that? Yeah, I think it's an oil thing. Maybe somebody other watching would know. What, what is this made out of? Is this tan? That's silver, actually. This is silver? Yes, it is. <gasps> Look, there's stamps on the bottom mm -hmm. of it. Oh my gosh. Uh, made in the USA. There should be a 925 on there somewhere. I'm trying to see what it says on the bottom of it. Mm. But look at that. Oh, isn't that cool? This this comb right here, which weirds me out a little bit because it's a comb belonged to somebody else. Well, All right. You know we funny? have somebody's DNA here. Do you I'm know sure. what's funny about that? What? Is I saw that on the floor last night. Yeah. And I thought it was a brush for Oreo, so I brushed Oreo. So that's Oreo. You brushed your dog with that's this? That's Oreo fur. You're kidding me. <laughs> I thought that was, I was like, what is that? Is that yeah, somebody's hair? No, that's our dog hair? That's Oreo. Matt, what is this made out of? Because I don't that's know. It's just steel. Steel? Okay. Yeah. You know, we can probably look up the marking. It says like Stevens made in the USA. Yeah, yeah. Kind of cool. I don't know. I guess this would have been like the stuff. Oh my gosh, Matt. There's right in the back of it. Look at that. It says white sweater with turquoise and green purple stripes. Who's ready to be brushed again? Our dogs are running in the background. So look at that. Don't you love that color combo? Turquoise, green, purple, and, and stripes. Look at that. Oh my goodness gracious. And this was actually filled. It's all, it all fell out on the ground. We had to use a magnet to get it all back in here again. But this was actually filled with all kinds of like needles and um, yeah, pins, everything. We did to pick them all up, right? And so they had this, was stashed full to the very top and this was on it in the door. Listen, you guys are gonna hear lots of snorting and stuff and you're like, what is in the background? What is in the background? This is Tiki, she had a bath last night. Were you really trying to comb her with that? Not her. Oreo? Oreo. Tiki Bell. I was trying to show you Oreo. Tiki Bell. To realize that. This is Oreo. She's having a reverse sneezers. Oh my gosh. Like cat is just like, those are not my siblings. Those are not my sisters. I refuse, I refuse to have to deal with these dogs. Huh, kitty kitty? Are they a pain and you're behind? You are not happy. Look, the cat's got his ears back. Like, are you, get you people, you know, cats roll, dogs drool. <laughs> I hear the train out there and it is just a pouring. Look at that, it's pouring. Aren't cats and dogs such funny little creatures? <laughs> and the cat is still looking at me over there, looking at the dogs like, did you really have to bring them home? They cramp my style. Thank you for hanging out here on my daily vlog. I will be back again tomorrow. If you have not already subscribed, I would love it if you would do so. Hit the little bell. What it does is it alerts you every single time I do another daily upload. Give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Do your cats and dogs get along? Are they like best buddies? Does your cat think that it owns the dogs? They sure make life interesting. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.